we had a highly energetic dog on the show a little bit earlier, Miles, and uh, Nino is also a super energetic dog. Um, a little bit smaller in size at about 60 pounds. Um, he is also a little bit younger at a year old. And instead of saying a terrier mix, we actually have this guy down as an American Staffordshire Terrier mix. Um, because I think that was the information that we were able to gain from uh, a previous owner. Um, Nino obviously loves his toys. Um, he has the, um, you know, the standard relaxed frog pose down pat. Um, and he's a great chocolate and white color. He's a lot of, uh, um, he's a very handsome dog and he does have a, a lot of good qualities. He already knows a couple of things, um, sit being one of them. Um, he knows down, he knows paw. So he does have some of those training basics, which lets you know, hey, he's trainable and he's very treat motivated. Um, he's friendly when you approach his kennel. Um, he reacts favorably to other dogs. Um, he can be difficult to walk, which I think some of the kennel techs were working with him on. Um, no issues with food aggression. Um, he enjoys being petted, but he can sometimes get playfully aroused um, with petting, um, sometimes get overstimulated when he's out running around in the play yard. Um, so those are things to consider, you know, when you're thinking about is he going to be a good fit uh, for your family, um, you know, um, helping him to learn some impulse control. We always encourage the say please protocol, which can help with that. So it's just teaching all the dogs that, you know, with our kids, we usually say you have to say please. But with the dogs, their version of that is they have to sit quietly and politely on the floor. They have to, you know, learn that they need to calm themselves down before they can get things. So it really helps um, with some of those things that he specifically needs to work on. <laughs> um, but otherwise, he is, you know, he has uh, much like many of our dogs, you know, all of them really, he has great potential um, in the right household. But his energy level doesn't necessarily make him suitable for every family, every household, every lifestyle. So making sure that, you know, the dogs that you're thinking about adding to your family are the dogs that are actually going to be a good fit long term for what you're looking to do with your life. So originally he came in as a stray, but if you look at his profile, it says he's owned. How did that go about changing? So sometimes that happens, and Nino's story is actually kind of quite sad. An, an officer, one of our ACOs brought him in. Um, there was a report of a dog tied to a tree, and that was Nino. Um, so there's a lot of things that we want to talk about on that front. Um, but because when he came in, he was microchipped, we were then able to call that person who said, well, I gave the dog to someone else, and then you know, find it, kind of track down through that list, thanks to a microchip who owned him and actually get you know surrender papers and get some information. Um, but that leads us to a couple things. The importance of microchips because that can get your dog back home to you. Um, so um, all of the animals that leave our facility are, are microchipped, and we also offer that as a clinic on Wednesdays without an appointment during you know, our open hours to get that done for you guys. But it's also, we want to talk about what to do when you can't keep your dog. Um, you know, we are here as a county facility. If you are a county resident or have adopted a, an animal from us, you know, it's really unsafe to just leave your dog somewhere. You know, there's so many potential factors. Um, someone else who could take it, um, who shouldn't have a dog um, and do, you know, inappropriate or, you know, uh, awful things with them. Um, and other animals could attack the dog. There could be issues with, you know, traffic and getting hit by cars. There could be issues with, um, um, heat stroke and dehydration and, and all of these types of things. Um, and there are ordinances against that, you know. So if you're struggling with, you know, the inability to keep your animal, yes, we have managed intakes. Call and make those appointments. If, if it's a serious situation, you know, talk about it. We can make those arrangements because, um, you know, you can be fined if you, you know, find that we've abandoned your dog, you've abandoned your dog because you've tied it somewhere. And, and those types of things can escalate. So we're willing to work with you to make sure that the animals are safe. But, um, you know, Nino is now here in a safe situation looking for a loving home. His story was is sad, and we want to make sure that other dogs aren't out there suffering that same fate, you know, being abandoned, tied to trees and things like that. So, um, you know, Call us for more information if you have you know, issues like that. Um, you can always call the main office at 301-600-1546. And if you want to be the happy ending to Nino's somewhat sad starting story, um, first chapter, then you can visit uh, him by going to visitfcac.as.me.